we rolling, rolling. Shout out to Kimmy Casanova. The boy's a problem. But we are rolling, rolling. And talking to my wife, trying to figure out the menu for the week. Because we are going to start doing better at planning and preparing so that we can have um, successful weeks, greater weeks. She currently right now is, how many weeks you pregnant, girl? 33 as of Tuesday? 33 weeks pregnant as of Tuesday. Um, and I just started giving her smoothies this this past week, and she's been loving them, so she she's decided to continue with the smoothie kick, possibly with a bagel. If not, hey, that is her choice. I plan on doing a breakfast quiche. Maybe I'll try Dave's plain bagels. I don't know, because they're expensive as all hell, and again, we want to spend, we want to spend about 50 bucks on groceries this week. Probably don't need to spend that much low key because got chicken and chicken thighs in here from last week. So I need to come up with a second lunch for me, whether it be chicken salad or just chicken, rice, and veggies. I'll rock out with that. My breakfast, like I said, I want to do a breakfast quiche, chicken, rice, and broccoli. Um, maybe I'll do chicken salad again. I don't know because again, my lunch, I like to keep it. I like to keep, I like to have one kind of bro meal and that'd be the chicken, rice, and broccoli sauces, variety. Uh, last week we did barbecue or shepherd's pie and it's made with barbecue. I don't know if you know, it's not, but the healthier version, shout out to Fit Man Cook, been using this recipe for years and that's what it entails with barbecue. So again, we got Barbecue shepherd's pie for her, probably run that back, along with chicken, rice, zucchini, and squash. Just finished using up the rest of the wick, so that'll renew tomorrow, get more zucchini and squash for her. However, I'll make the barbecue shepherd's pie today, so she'll at least have that for lunch. Then, um, again, she'll do the chicken, rice, zucchini. That'll be either a second lunch for her as well, because she pregnant. She got to start eating more. As well as, I got to start eating more. I'm about to start vlogging the fitness. Because, I mean, I just want to be one of the ones, man. I love this I love this content creation shit so much. And I've been a viewer. I've been a fan for so long. But I got something to say. I, I bring value to the world. Um, I'm funny. I believe I'm quirky. I believe um, that... I'm meant to go out, I'm meant to be out here living this life and reaching people, whether it be strictly and solely entertaining or to be educating them. Because remember, and I learned this in a class at Virginia University, it was a, it might have been a history class, or I'm pretty sure it was an English class, but nevertheless, she said, in writing a paper, you got to think of the three focuses or what is the direction, what is the intent, and everything either educates, entertains, or it persuades think about that everything we do is either in one or two of those categories if you can do three then hell you are genius you made it you set for life but the news it informs us or it educates us on hey current events the world around us education that's the movies that's the pop culture that's the music etc etc um, and then the news and media as well it can persuade you so hey we got left or right that's where the division comes into play you got democrats you got republicans you got independents you got whether you like this music artist this person or not whether you like this movie and this genre or not etc etc and it's so much variety as to where i mean you choose either you like it or you don't but nevertheless it still falls under those three umbrellas of educating you entertaining you or persuading you did that actor's performance entertain you? But did it also persuade you to think, uh, yeah, I believe that character, or no, it sucked, the movie was trash, yada, yada, yada. Catch my drift? Boom. And so back to this week, trying to set up a good success and um, had his menu. I tried the chicken chunks from Costco yesterday. They were pretty good, so that might be a dinner thing for me a couple of, a couple of days of this week. Again, Mixing some sauces together. Now you got Chinese, and I'm doing this for my wok action, my wok. Um, 
I love Sweet Fire from Panda Express, and I've been making a copycat of that for some time now. And so, I po possibly, well, not possibly, I'm probably going to have that a couple of the nights. Maybe I'll go ahead and record that for y'all and show y'all. Yeah, I will. Why not? <laughs> it's content, right? Again, entertain, but also educate. Somebody may not know how to cook. Somebody may not know, hey, copycat, what it looked like, da-da-da-da. And so that's why I'm here. You coming over to this channel, you look to be educated on some things, but more than that, you look to be entertained. I said it in uh, the last video I posted, talking about changing the direction in this channel. I want to highlight my family um, that's growing. I want to highlight my fitness and my fitness journey. I've been lifting for 14 years, but hey, we need to we need to tighten up. We need to put a little size on. I feel great. I look good. Um, I'm putting back on weight. I've been 142 for the longest, uh, but I weighed in after I drank some water. I like to weigh in first thing raw in the morning, and I weighed 144.6. So. From last week, eating a full breakfast or having a breakfast the full week, I'm putting on size or putting on weight. That's good. My strength, it did feel a little better today in the gym. Did some incline bench. I mean, I used to be doing one, 185 for reps. Now, I've, I'm, I'm breaking down my form and we're going to... Basically, I did a plate. I did a plate and again, slow tempo reps. So down, pause, up. I did three sets of 10. On a Sunday, I wanted to just do something light to to prepare myself, get ready for the week. Tomorrow, we start off with legs because real men train legs. And um, we do the hardest thing first. If we get the hardest lift out the way, the rest of the week is cake. It's enjoyable. We like to do it. We look forward to it. I mean, hell, I look forward to Monday because Mondays is money-making Mondays. Bring y'all more full-time well, a day in the life of full-time Instacarter, we might revamp the name. We might call that Trapping with Trey or, or IC with me. I don't know. But um, we're just working. I need to get this computer for my mom so I can get Final Cut Pro and have more memory because my, <laughs> my phone is slow as hell. I got 2,000 plus videos on this mug. That's way too many for a 256. So it's time to start dumping. It's, it's, it's just time. It's been time. Again, I hate to goddamn piggyback off the lady, but Dodash, she's having this astronomical run, and she's motivating and encouraging people. Yo, press record. Just press record. Everybody's tired of these cinematic and overly produced-ass videos. Just can press record, dump your thoughts, and, and upload them. And the consistency of you doing that, you're going to gain followers, you're going to gain traction, and the next thing you know, you'll be able to monetize and make a living off doing this mug, living your life. Guess what? We, It's like some human connection you didn't know you needed or you wanted. And that person inspires you by their personality, by their struggles. Because don't think, hey, they get money, they still not going to struggle. Then, hey, family and friends going to come out the woodwork like... <laughs> Hey, uh, give me some money. Just as well as people that's going to ridicule you. But that's part of life. That's part of the game. Again, you got to take the good with the bad. And at this point in my life, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready and I'm willing to do it. So I got my devotional. Yeah. I got my devotional. I got my fitness content. Which I only want to provide y'all maybe a lift there a week and a day in the life. I mean, a full day of eating. Um, maybe I'll cook for you. We'll try some other people's recipes. I think that'll be hard. And I'll get my opinion, critique on them, as well as my old lady here. Um, family vlog. And that's just that. You're going to be seeing us a great deal. So, lock in. <laughs> get active in the comment section. I love you. I'm about to eat this breakfast. We got some eggs and some bacon bits in that mug. And um, I'm making my way to Costco because they open at 10 today. We're going to try to work a couple of hours. Had a great week. <laughs> Pushing over 1,200 after today. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, we 
look forward to doing it again. Money Making Mondays. Mondays are so amazing. Again, I'm so grateful for this because some people have, some people hate Mondays, man. But when I tell you, when you got something that you love, and my wife can attest to it, I love this shit, man. I ain't going to say that. That's OD. I love being able to provide for you, and this gives me an amazing way of doing that. You know, all the times you, hey, I need this, I missed this, I forgot this, <laughs> bring me this. It was a joke, okay. Ha ha, comedy style. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm part of one of them old heads where <laughs> I ain't all affectionate, but she know I love her. <laughs> yeah, y'all see, you better say yeah. You better confirm on the camera. <laughs> but no, I love, I love the girl. I love that girl. And um, that's it. That's all, man. I'm going to go ahead and eat this breakfast. Like I said, it's 9.51, so I ain't going to be able to catch the first drops at Costco. But it is what it is. We got this here smoothie. Again, this is the smoothie my old lady been doing. I'll show y'all this. Maybe I'll do the quick video and show y'all what we put on this. And um, like I said, that's it. Till the next time, I'm going to upload this. Watch it. Like it. Get active in the comments. And I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last. And God loves you. Well, I love you. We love you. But God loves you more.